Hello everybody. So today we're going to be learning about St. Joseph. Now the reason we're learning about St. Joseph is because recently we've entered into the year of St. Joseph. It started on the 8th of December and will run from the 8th of December 2020 right through to the 8th of December 2021. I think it's really important that we learn a lot more about this really crucial, instrumental figure in Jesus' life and what we can learn from the attributes and the qualities that this man had. So the first thing we should probably note is not to get the two Josephs confused. You've got Joseph from the Old Testament, who is the son of Jacob, and I'm sure you've learned loads about him in your come and see topics. But when we refer to Saint Joseph, who is Jesus' father, it will always have the prelude of saint. So perhaps we could look at scripture to see who this man was and what he was about and what an influential figure he was. So if I were to choose my favourite piece of scripture and what it says in the Bible, what words Joseph was given, I would maybe choose... Oh, that's the thing. Joseph says nothing in the Bible. Joseph isn't one of the fullest figures that's given lots of words that there's lots of stories about. And I think sometimes because of this, he can be overlooked. And this is what's really crucial, guys. This is what's important about looking at St. Joseph. Sometimes we're not always the key players. Sometimes we don't need to be the person in the limelight to be really crucial, to be really supportive, to be absolutely instrumental in the full story. And that was one of Joseph's brilliant qualities. He supported Mary. He had ultimate faith. And he loved Jesus like a father. So Pope Francis decided to dedicate a year to this very inspirational figure within the Catholic Church. So we're going to learn a bit more about St. Joseph. We're going to learn why and how he was so important. We're going to learn about his qualities and who we see those qualities in and who perhaps we can look at as father figures within our own lives. We're also going to see what we can learn from this man. How the fact that we all don't need the limelight in order to be successful to support other people and how that faith, ultimate faith and blind faith can lead us to be the most supporting figures within all of those people within our lives. So I think first things first, let's start looking at the great man that was Saint Joseph.